I have just returned from my driving vacation into Colorado. About a month and a half before I left to take my vacation, I purchased a track phone on Amazon period com, an Android device, and the selling point was if you buy airtime, it multiplies it by three. So if you buy 30 minutes of airtime, you get 90 minutes, you also get 90 text messages, you also get triple the data bits, bytes. So I thought, hey, that was a good idea. Um, since I would be, I was planning on hiking above Timberline and there's often cellular telephone um, access way up there above 10,000, 11,000 feet. I thought it was a good idea even though the whole idea of even owning a mobile telephone was kind of revolting. So when it came about three weeks later, I registered it by using the online track phone uh, web page. It confirmed that it had been registered. And then, a couple hours before I left for my vacation a week ago, I used the online track phone website to add 30 minutes. And I also got some data minutes also, like um, 150 megabytes or something like that. Which, since I don't live in an area that has cellular um, service, I had to actually drive out of the canyon where I live to get the phone updated for that um, purchase. So I packed up and left, and when I drove out of the canyon, I turned the telephone on, and in a few minutes I got a text message saying it had added 90 service days. I said, hey, that's great! So I put the phone away. And I drove another 220 miles until I got to Fair Play, Colorado. Which, at that time, I wanted to use the telephone. So I powered up the telephone, dialed in the number that I wanted, and it told me I had to add time to the phone. And when I looked, the phone's airtime was zero minutes. Zero text messages, zero bytes data. And 90 days of service um, days. I figured, okay, I just did something wrong on the website somehow. So I went on my vacation. I hiked through many passes that are over 11,000 feet, well above Timberline at 12,000 feet. The highest peak that I went through is 13,800 feet. Really nice up there. I really wish that I had my cell phone with me in case something happened to happen and I had to call if there was um, cellular coverage there. Finally, after five days, I came back down and I figured I'm going to get this phone um, working. So I drove into Salida, Colorado, which is south of Fair Play, and I bought an, another airtime card, 90 minutes. Um, and I punched in the PIN number from this air card. And a couple minutes later, I got a text message saying, You've added another 90 days of service days. Zero bytes, zero text messages, zero megabytes of data. I was now up to more than a year of service days with zero minutes on the phone. I couldn't call anybody. And so I looked at the card on the airtime and it had a um, customer service number so I drove around Salida for maybe 40 minutes looking for a public telephone. I finally found a public telephone at a gas station that was hanging right above a huge propane tank. And to use the phone I had to reach over the propane tank and grab the phone and then reach over with my other hand and punch in the 800 number. And I finally got the service rep on the line and I told him, I've purchased twice um, airtime for my uh, Android device. It only updated the service days. It didn't upload the time. It didn't upload the bytes. It didn't upload the text mes message count. And he said, golly, that's strange. Let me fix that. Every minute, he said, I'm still working on it. And I would say, okay. I, I, I suspect he has a timer on his desk so that after every sec, every 60 seconds uh, he says, 
I'm still working on it. And I said, okay, I'm still here. Eventually, after maybe 12 minutes or so, he said, I'm going to have to put you on hold for three minutes. Is that okay? And I said, sure. So he put me on hold for three minutes. After and I got to listen to advertising for three minutes. After three minutes, he came back online and said, I have to put you on hold again for another three minutes. I'm talking to my supervisor. Is that okay? I said, sure. Three minutes pass. He got back on. May I put you on hold another three minutes? I said, okay. Three minutes pass. Came back online on the phone. May I put you on hold another three minutes? I said, okay. This went on. I counted ten times. After that, I just stopped counting how many three-minute blocks that I was put on hold. Finally, he came online again and said, May I put you on hold another three minutes? And I said, Yes. Uh, phone went back into spewing advertising. I put the phone down on the propane tank. I went to my pickup. I rummaged through my toolbox and I got this. I went back to the telephone with this. Picked up the phone and the next time he came on the, the phone and said, may I put you on hold another three minutes? I said, no. I said, this is the sound of a ball-peen hammer being vigorously applied to a Android track phone device. I put the track phone on the propane tank. I held it down with the telephone receiver mouthpiece so it wouldn't move around too much. And I gave the telephone a few dozen mighty wallops with this. And every wallop I gave it, the propane tank rang out like a mighty gong. Wham! 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 And finally, after the track phone was in tiny, itty-bitty, powdery pieces, I picked up the phone and said, I believe I have solved the problem. I am not going to use track phone anymore. I appreciate your time and your effort trying to fix this problem, but it's just not worth my aggravation. The sputtering on the other end of the line was like, I, um, er, we, uh, you, I'm, um. Apparently he didn't have like a script to follow. When a customer takes a massive ball peen hammer to a recalcitrant track phone device. I am now in the market for a telephone, and I want a fucking dial-up, and I don't want it any smarter than I am. 